Thank you, everybody. We um, we have traveled all the way from the uh, from the Netherlands, and which is quite nearby. First of all, we have to disappoint you. I'm really sorry. We 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 have just been hearing that what you need are rock stars. <laughs> <laughs> We're not sorry. This is the end of the presentation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No. We would, uh, we would like to uh, quickly introduce ourselves. On my left, this is Peter Jan, Peter Jan Dwarshuis. I'm uh, Thijs van Riemstedek. Uh, we, uh, we work with Holland Composites and we have prepared a brief presentation for you to show you our company and the products that we, that we do. We won't give you, um, we won't give you um, board for too long, I hope. We, um, we are a production company and in the, we, we produce various items. Uh, founded already quite some time ago, almost 25 years ago, Peter Jan as a graduate from, uh, from Delft Technical University had, uh, had been working with the advanced composites and being already a passionate sailor, he thought, well, hey, what can we do? Why not build really fast boats? And that's basically that's the start of the, of the company. We started doing boats and from boats we, we found that, well, Sailing or generally uh, mod yachting, it's all quite nice. But the, uh, we had a lot of cyclic uh, order intake, and we thought, well, let's go to the general industry where we perhaps can find where we can grow the company and make things a bit more consistent. So I started doing boat trailers, started doing aviation products, started, and yet started doing all types of different things. Started doing uh, housing solutions for students in the Netherlands. And then we and then we started doing facades for big buildings to find out after 20 years that what we really like our boats and here we are back again it's a space circle in 20 years <laughs> yeah these are some products of the, of the old days so this was in the, the 1990s so you see in the left corner is the Bruna Synergy is a bit bread 60 we built in 1997 already for the Dutch team and that was let's say our first uh, big form yeah, and some other boats which we built in those years. We have 20 minutes, we won't keep you wasted for too long. So this is some of the products that we have been working on on the building industry uh, recently. Um, we all realize you do boats, and so do we. But basically what this is, this is a big boat, but it is actually it's a building, but we build it as a boat. This is a, uh, a, a big structure, uh, 113 meter long. Uh, built in the city center. Sorry. Oh, 18 meters high, so it's quite a big thing. Built in the city center of Amsterdam. Um, we manufacture everything in our facility in the Netherlands and basically start joining everything as if it being a mega yacht on site. Spectacular. A few other projects that we have been working on, quite big. Uh, and it must be said, we are not a big company. And doing all these building projects made us realize that if we want to be an efficient company, we have to do things differently than traditional composite manufacturing, also than traditional boat building. So doing these sort of projects learned us a lot in, in just improving our overall efficiency. Yeah, you, you can imagine when you're working in a team for a big building project like this, then when you're only uh, the, the company who delivers the facade of the roof in this, in this uh, particular project, then you cannot have your uh, partners waiting on par. So in boat building it's quite common that folks come always too late. Now that's not possible in the building industry. So again, everything manufactured in our facility in the Netherlands and uh, everything installed on site. Apart from the building industry, and this is where we start getting into maritime structures, we do more than, than, than buildings alone. This is a, a tidal turbine plant, which you can see. Uh, just to give you a feel for the dimensions, this is the same dimension as a Boeing 737. It's, it's a tube that's 45 meters long. It has five generators, which are basically in the water, and it's using the current to generate clean energy. We are responsible for the design and development of the tidal plates. And it's the same as a performance boat. Uh, this is a really a high, highly loaded product. All made of carbon fiber, same as a big boat. Same as such a product, for example. For naval forces, we do the, uh, the sonar dome, which is the, the bulge, the bulk on the bottom of the bow. Now we do the engineering, we do the manufacturing, 
but then also it has to be installed. And this is, for example, installation of our products in, in India. But that's not what you're here for. We, are, uh, we would like to tell you a bit more about, about DNA. DNA is a, is a sub-label, a sub-brand of Atom Composites where we do real performance belts, small ones. Do you recognize them? Yeah, you see here's a picture of myself uh, 35 years ago when I was uh, building my first uh, unicorn plywood bow in the garden house of my parents. So, and I never left it basically. So, I always let, was a fanatic uh, builder in A class catamarans. Uh, the A class catamarans is, a, is, a, is an international class with uh, a box rule, uh, 5 and a half meter long, 2.3 meter wide, and, and 14 square meter maximum cell area and minimum weight of 75 kilo. Now the interesting thing of those bows is that um, because of the, the development in New Mexico the last few years these bows are also um, on foils now, so developed on foils and uh, we are pretty strong, we built already 250 boats of those in the last five years. It was not original designed as a foiling boat but uh, now um, yeah, because of the development in New Mexico it, it is. And yeah, we uh, we supplied it to quite a few of the of the big teams. Uh, actually, we were uh, we were a, a training training boat for uh, most of the teams in uh, in 2012, 2013, yeah. in the launch uh, or in the in the ramp up to the to the last America's Cup. And these guys are still sailing the the DNA yet. Yeah, so we get a lot of feedback from those guys. So that's 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 very valuable input for uh, for developing the boat further. So just small uh, impression. Yeah, yeah, some some footage of the boat on foils. Boat is five and a half meters long, uh, capable of speeds up to up to thirty knots. It's quite a quite a fast boat. Yeah. Different than the uh, mod, it is a different kind of foiling. So this is passive foil. So the foils are not having a wand or an automatically hydrized system, but it has um, a V type of foil. We call it the Z boards. And when the boat lifts out of the water too high, it automatically falls down a little bit. So but basically you steer the boat, your sheet and your body weight. And it's a really dynamic way of sailing. And the beauty of it is it's pretty simple. The boats are pretty simple and also very accessible. So you don't have to swim around to learn it because the, the, the basic platform is really stable. So uh, yeah, you can push the boat just up to your abilities. This keeps on going on, so we, uh, we have to get to the next slide. I'm sorry. Does <laughs> it work? Yeah. Oh, okay. We'll go right through. We do, um, with DNA, we do more than the, than the A-Cat. We, uh, uh, we do a bigger version of the, of the A-Cat. We also do lightweight engineering. Of, for example, a passenger ferry, which is powered by, by solar energy. Um, as a result, the, the solar boat had to be constructed very lightweight. Otherwise, the um, well, otherwise she wouldn't perform. But what we really like to tell you a bit more about is uh, our uh, yeah, is, is our prime product. It's the G4. You may have heard about it. The uh, the G4 is basically is the is the bigger brother of the of the of the A-Cat. It's a uh, it's a 40 foot boat, uh, just over 12 meters long, almost 7 meters wide. We, uh, we designed it ourselves, we uh, basically we've done everything ourselves. Uh, what we wanted to do is to introduce a, a boat that, is, that has the same sort of feeling, hand in hand response as a small dinghy, but then on a bigger scale. So just tiller steering, uh, having almost no luxury on board, basic luxury. But we, we like being outdoors. Um, we don't think that, uh, that a boat, uh, if you want to perform a boat, you don't, you don't want weight. And if we go outdoors, you also don't want to carry all the weight on your back. So with the same sort of luxury that you have if you do an outdoor trekking, we thought, why wouldn't we do so on a boat? So we combined that into, the, into a boat, and that, um, that was our uh, design of the, of the G4. And once we did all the design and the engineering, we thought, okay, we have to manufacture it as well. And that's, uh, that's always the nice thing, the challenge. <laughs> You see already on the, the, the pictures here, so that's typically the mold. What we are uh, doing is basically building everything in pre -prick. I don't know if everyone here in the room knows what it is. It, it, it means that uh, the resin is already in the fibers. It's coming from a roll, it's frozen, and it only cures in an oven. So uh, it's, it's basically a technique coming from the aerospace industry. 
the good thing is that it's a really, really clean and controllable system. And it's also a really nice um, uh, environment for the, for the workers. Well, after, the, uh, after the lamination and the curing, then we have to make the boat, the boat look a bit pretty. We, uh, we paint the boat ourselves. This is the third G14 painted, being painted by our <coughs> national color. This is the, uh, the, uh, the lamination shop where we do all the, uh, all the pre brick work. We start doing all the, uh, the, the hardware fittings, really making it a yacht. And from there, this is all still in the Netherlands, and then we have to ship it out. And then we put the rig on. Oh. We won't show you the end of this film. <laughs> we ask you to go online. If you want to know the end, you'll have to find out for yourself. <laughs> we, um, we have a few other things that we would like to uh, tell you about. We are currently manufacturing the, the second G4. A few changes compared to the, to the first boat. The first boat, everything was manual. We will, uh, with, the, with the second G4, we uh, also we learned a few things that you can see in the, in the, in the film. Um, we were doing automated foil control. So, so yeah. yeah, we focus on the, the second boat, very much on the, on, the, on the comfort and also the safety. Uh, there will be an automatically uh, system on the main sheet for the easy main sheet too much heel and also will be automatically buttons for uh, lowering and, and, and uh, lowering and putting up the foils and also for adjusting the rate of the foils for the angle of the deck, just like an MX Cup The AK that you saw previously, we will be launching a new model in a few weeks. This is also quite spectacular. After the AK, we will be launching an improved and faster version of the G4. A race version, sleeker lines. Uh, we can remove some weight, and this is a uh, this will be a very capable offshore cruiser for racers. Sorry, no, no, no. yeah, we attracted more and more the racer sailors than the, the crucial sailors. We <laughs> found out, so we might as well let's say push it a little bit more uh, in the direction of, uh, of uh, yeah one design racing class. And that's the last thing we, that we have in, uh, in mind for 2016. We will be uh, launching this boat at the, uh, towards the end of uh, 2016. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy landing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Sorry. Will you have to leave? Uh, uh, okay. You made a kind of with the G4 cap. You made a tremendous leap. You know, technological leap. You know, to provide something which is only known in America's cap for the foiling uh, thing, and in a theory, coming a little bit like a mass market one, uh, kind of a class. Product which have a you know you can have a holiday there. How it is possible that now we can do this kind of extreme fast leap that that was not a we were not able to do that kind of thing before? Is there something you know? Yeah, no, yeah. Of course, um, the Mexico pushed. Yeah. Uh, of course, the development of foiling boats, and and then basically everyone got a little bit awake. And uh, we tried with the A-class to work out foiling boats. So when I went out with, the, with another um, foiling cameraman like the GC32, maybe you also know that one, uh, which is even a little bit more radical. And, but I found out that it was not really a safe boat where you really feel safe on. So I sail already for 30 year uh, racing cameraman. And that was typically a boat where you only have to go out with a helmet and a big wetsuit and maybe some armor. And, and, and yeah, we thought, okay, we make, we make a boat which is comfortable and also have, let's say, your, the same feeling and the same sensation as an, as an American boat. 
but how can you do it now in a such short period of time in one way? The, the, the technology has been there already. It's not it's not all it's not all new. Uh, but it's what the Americans government have done is also created awareness for the general in the general public and what you I think would not just by us, but what you can see by other by other companies. If the if this is being picked up by the sailors and builders such as ourselves think there is a demand for a product in this uh, that, that has that uh, that has these uh, characteristics, then you will see people developing such a boat, such as such as us. I think that's really why things have picked up greatly in the last few years. Okay, thank you so much for coming here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you.